it's Paradox Dish. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm showing you my process working on some digital art. I was inspired by the idea of creating a tattoo style flash sheet with Pokemon characters on it. I'd very much like to do a series of Pokemon tattoo flash, but I started with one of my favorite types, which is grass. So I started sketching a few different characters out. I wasn't sure 100% which ones I was going to add to the flash sheet right off the bat, but... I kind of had an idea. I wanted to do something I hadn't really drawn before, but also some of my favorites. This is what I started with. I started with a Sudowoodoo. And I got a Gloom in there, a Leafeon, Rosalia. It's hard to remember the names of the newer Pokemon because <laughs> there's so many Pokemon now. It's ridiculous. So basically what I like to do is start my process by sketching first, roughing out the main character design. And then once I get like the base character design down, then I want to start like adding embellishments around it because like these are going to be tattoo style designs. So I, I do like to add like a little bit of flair to it. So it's not just the character by itself standing there. So I noticed I also drew Celebi, but I didn't actually end up rendering the Celebi and decided against it. Same thing with the Hoodoot. I kind of like favored certain characters after I sketched them out, like I preferred them over the others. But now you can see I'm just doing some of the outline on the gloom piece because I got the sketch done and rendered the way I liked it for that piece. So I was ready to start doing the outline. So with this piece, I did kind of like a traditional style where I did bold outlines and then shading on the inside. But with it, I uh, wanted to do something different from my normal shading, which is like really smooth kind of three-dimensional type shading and I went with a grainy pencil brush this time because I wanted like more of a texture rough texture to it and everything and to look like pencil so it was an interesting experience because like normally I draw with pencil on paper traditionally and I'm more new to doing digital like I've been doing digital art a few years but not that long <laughs> like I definitely feel like I still have a lot to learn with the programs and all that. But yeah, I really liked the gritty texture that the pencil brush has. So like I'm probably going to do more textured pieces in the future. But I always like fall back on my regular style of the smooth three-dimensional clean looking shading with like clean edges and everything. That's like really how I like to do my art. <laughs> So yeah, I started drawing Shaman here as well, like started doing the outline and the embellishments to it. I really, I really liked how the Shaman piece turned out. It ended up being my favorite of the whole flash sheet. I think it's a really cute character. I love grass Pokemon. They're one of my favorite types, like grass and bug Pokemon. But I always thought grass and bug Pokemon were like the same. I didn't realize that some are like just bug Pokemon, not also grass Pokemon so that was a learning experience because I was going to add Butterfree but then I realized Butterfree's not actually a grass type mind blown <laughs> the funny thing is I like bug Pokemon and ghost type Pokemon those are like my favorites and bug Pokemon actually counter ghost Pokemon so kind of funny that I happen to like those <laughs> I feel like with this flash sheet I didn't really have enough room on it to draw as many Pokemon as I would have liked to because there's definitely more grass Pokemon that I'd like to add like um, Vile Plumes another favorite of mine just really cute Pokemon love the design like I like more of the original 150 to 250 Pokemon those those are like I guess what I grew up with and like some of the newer designs I don't know they're kind of out there so I'm not as fond of like the newer Pokemon so I, I mainly gravitate to drawing those ones. But yeah, there's a lot more I'd like to draw. Um, I'd have to think about it. But uh, there's definitely a few that I didn't get to do here. Like Hoodoot has some cool um, evolutions to it. I'd like to draw their evolutions because I love owls. They're like one of my favorite things to draw. So any excuse to draw an owl and I will take it. <laughs> Yeah, as you can see in this piece now, I'm starting to get the majority of the outlines done. I did like a kind of overall same thickness of outline, not like so much variation, because like sometimes what I like to do is do variation in the outline. So there's like kind of bolder, thicker outlines to show 
depth and like underneath and stuff like that but I just kind of wanted to do a straight solid one one size line for this so I actually started shading some of the pieces already I kind of like moved on to shading each piece as I finished outlining it because I was so excited to continue with them so I did that and then I started making a border because I thought some traditional flash sheets have borders on them and I think they look really cute so I thought it would be really cute if I did that and then embellished with like leaves and like a little banner and wrote grass for the grass pokemon there I definitely want to do this again and do another flash sheet like Definitely a psychic and ghost Pokemon is one of the next ones I want to do. Like, I love ghost Pokemon so much. Mimikyu is adorable. G Gengar, Haunter, Ghastly, those are all so cute. If you've got a favorite Pokemon, like Pokemon type or Pokemon in general, let me know in the comments because I might end up drawing it. I definitely need more suggestions for different ones. Like, definitely for ghost Pokemon for sure because... I feel like that will be the next flash sheet that I work on. I'm actually in the process of working on a Miyazaki fan art flash sheet at the moment. And I took one of the designs off the flash sheet and ended up rendering it as its full own piece. And I'm almost finished with it. So once I get it done, I'm going to be making a time lapse video of that as well. If you're interested in seeing that, if you like Miyazaki, then definitely check that out. I'm going to be rendering the flash sheet eventually but at the moment I'm working on the singular piece of it but I drew a few Princess Mononoke pieces and two from Spirited Away because like Princess Mononoke is my favorite of all time it's so much so my favorite that I accidentally bought it on DVD twice so I have two copies of it on DVD like I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that but oh well <laughs> I guess give it away at some point or something but yeah, if you're a fan of Miyazaki, comment below your favorite Miyazaki movie. I'm interested in what other people's favorite movies are. There's a lot of Miyazaki films I've actually not seen yet, so I definitely have got a lot to catch up on. But thankfully, Netflix still has them and Disney hasn't taken them off because Disney took all the Marvel shows off and like everything. So yeah, Netflix doesn't have that much anymore, sadly. But yeah, at least they have Miyazaki, so... I definitely got to watch them, but I always find myself re-watching the same movies over and over. Like, I, I'm so bad at like starting new ones. I always go for my comfort movies and watch the same movies. <laughs> so something I like to do when I'm working on a piece is like I pre-sketch out the design and kind of like rough in the shading I want to do. So then I keep looking back at the sketch to get a reference of how I want to shade it to go off of. It kind of like helps me with it because like... When I start the sketch, I'll look at reference and whatnot, but I tend to go with my own shading style with it because, like, I don't want to replicate the original shading. I, I, I like to make it my own, so I make sure that I get the idea of the shading in the sketch process because it helps me, like, get the shading done a lot faster. <laughs> so at this point, I was looking at the Leafeon design and I was feeling like, this is missing something like it needs something extra just kind of playing with the little flowers there so I decided to draw those little mushroom guys I can't remember what they're called but they're freaking adorable and I'm like yes I'm putting them there <laughs> and the funny thing is like I wasn't feeling the leafy on design initially when I was doing this flash sheet I was more liking the shaman and the deerling but then at the end of it, when I finished all the pieces, I ended up loving the leafy on the most. And now it's my banner on YouTube. So <laughs> it became my favorite. So I'm really glad I added those little mushroom guys because it just like leveled up the design that much more. So we're getting close to the ending of the drawing. Like I'm just finishing the leafy on at this point, I believe. And I might have added more to the gloom. I'm not sure. I can't remember, but. Yeah, I really love the texture. The texture of pencil is really nice, and I'd like to do another pencil piece digitally. But I also miss doing traditional art a lot, so hopefully I can start filming some more traditional art. Because like when I first started my YouTube, I didn't have a good camera. I had to borrow my mom's camera, and I could only film six-minute clips at a time, so I'd always like lose my footage. But now I have a good camera, so yeah, I'm like, I want to film more traditional now that I have the equipment 
So I ended up adding like a kind of patterned border to it. And yeah, I really like how that turned out. Really happy with this piece. So yeah, I'm looking forward to making more Pokemon pieces. And I hope you'll check out my next video coming soon. I'd appreciate the likes and comments. It helps my channel a lot. And subscribe if you'd like to see more art content. Bye!